going on guys? John DeRosa here with my pop, Pop De La Rosa. We're here in the Bronx, Star Fitness, my home gym. Uh, we're lucky enough to have David here uh, filming us for our workout, Muscle Insider. So we're going to get some chest in today to start of our week, my, my training week. So uh, let's get to it. All right. Well, like I did my maxes, we just wrapped up a nice little chest workout on Sunday, Easter Sunday with Big John and his dad. Thanks for bringing your dad, John. Thank you. It was a nice surprise. Uh, yeah, you didn't yeah. say you were going to bring him. And yeah, I wanted to surprise you guys and bring the guy along. He's uh, Pop is always the life of the party, so I figured it would be good. Out <laughs> He's like the mayor of stars, you said. He's the mayor of star. Everybody knows him here. He's always got everybody laughing, so yeah. it's good to have him here. We needed his energy since I'm a little bit low carb and <laughs> dying right now, but it was a good workout. So, uh, five weeks out from the New York Road, how are you feeling, man? I mean, just obviously a little yeah. tired. Yeah, yeah, obviously a little tired, but I feel good. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you caught any of it, but we were just posing. Really excited this year. I'm doing everything on my own. Um, prep has been really fun. You know, it's uh, I kind of went back to my roots. It's just me and my family. You know, Victor Martinez is helping out, obviously. Marco Rivera, just the whole New York crew. Uh, Juan Morel. I've been lucky to have these guys in my corner and my dad and my family. Um, so it's fun. It, it reminds me of back when I was an amateur and we were doing everything on, on our own. Um, but I, I really feel like this is the best package of, I'm going to be bringing in the last couple of years. So I'm excited to display it in five minutes. Um, talk about, I mean, obviously you dad, uh, you seem to be so close and um, he's actually competing. He's doing the universe, right? Yeah. In July. Yeah. Let's talk about that. He looks great, by the way, your dad. I mean, he's like you. a small yeah. version of yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he could be your twin, this guy. Yeah. Right? He looks, you guys would be brother. <laughs> so, it, uh, it, I mean, you're, you're obviously supporting John right now for the New York, and I'm sure after that, you know, a world will reverse and he'll help you out for, for, for July. How, um, how do you... How do, I mean, how long have you been training? You still look so youthful and, and great, and I mean, it's... Well, you know what? A lot of us born in my era, you know, we used to look at the Charles Atlas in the comic books. Yeah. Guy kicking the sand on the guy's face, and you know, having a physique that looks nothing like today's physiques, by the way. Yeah. And, you know, the old magazines, the old Hercules movies, who wouldn't get inspired by that, you know, being a guy? So when I came into my teens, you know, me and my brother got a little 110 pound vinyl weight set. We started doing little simple things in our apartment. And we just kept going from there on. It was, if you would have told me, oh, it's just gonna be a lifelong thing, you have to do it. I would have said, are you crazy? But it just stuck with us. It just happened. Yeah, yeah. it just happened and we just kept going with it. And John, here it is. John, is that where you got the bug from your dad? Yeah, I mean, I, again, watching him growing up, of course I was inspired with the kids would always talk about my dad being the, the Hercules and <laughs> the biggest dad. So, you know, I wanted to be that. I wanted to emulate yeah. that as I grew up. And I got into weightlifting, as many of you know, really, really young as well. And uh, it stuck with me too. I mean, one of the greatest things that I have in this life is my relationship with my, with my family, but with my dad especially. We're in here every day training together. And I think that it's a gift that uh, you could never replace. You know what I mean? This brings you health, it brings you happiness, it brings you longevity. I mean, there's so many great things that come out of just being health conscious and, and being in the gym. So, um, Stuff money can't buy. It's stuff money can't buy, exactly. And, and, it, and it's sad that not too many other people are, you know, have that kind of relationship with their family or friends and can bring that into uh, the gym as well. Was your dad uh, supportive when you wanted to start training? And so was he like, yeah, go son? And yeah, actually it was, it was uh, my dad was super supportive when I wanted to start training. He was the one that got, you know, first bought my gym membership and all that stuff. Uh, he would buy me little weights for home. My mom was the one that was kind of against it. She didn't want me lifting weights until I was about 14 years old. She thought it would stop my growth. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I'm already short enough, so. <laughs> when Maybe she was trying to help me When out. you told your, your dad, I want to be a poor Bible dirty, say, oh, was it okay for him to do it as a hobby or were you okay with him actually doing your livelihood with that? No, he was he was a hundred percent on board. All for it, yeah. But the first, uh, I think, it was the uh, first time I had competed. I think we both kind of in there went in there with the expectation of just having fun. Um, I think everybody saw how serious and how passionate I was about it. I did my prep on my own again, and I was doing all my cardio and you know doing all the research I could to be my best. I went into that first show, and it's uh, maybe a familiar name for some. Uh, I ended up winning the class in the competition, and um, Bob Gruskin had come up to us, 
Uh, Bob Gresson had helped Arnold back in the day, and uh, mm. you know a lot of great bodybuilding champions. He had come up to us and uh, told my dad, "Your son's gonna be something re really special." And um, you know, I don't, I don't know if I quite fulfilled uh, what he expected of me just yet. I, I'm, I'm still working on it, but. Um, I think right from there, my dad kind of, and myself as well, saw that, you know, there might be a future in this. Wow. That's a great story. Yeah. And, and of course, you know, you're married to Swan, which, you know, again, keeps it in the family. She's a top yeah. Olympic contender. Yeah. I mean, you guys are living, breathing bodybuilding. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's your whole life. Yeah, and this year was a little bit different as far as my prep. Um, as many of you know, I owned a uh, store for several years. I ended up getting into a bad partnership and uh, stepping away from the business. Um, so this year, I, I really got to focus on my prep and uh, just put everything I had into it and, and helping Swan with her prep and everything. So um, we've had a great year, thank God. Um, and it's only going to get better from here on out. So. And you're lucky enough to have a good sponsor behind you, so that would help. Bentcourt Nutrition, those, I mean, first and foremost, the people at Bentcourt Nutrition are just incredible people. They're, you know, it's a, small, it's a small company, but we're, we're kicking ass, we're doing really well in sales, and um, just the, the group of people that are behind the scenes are just incredible people. The way they treat me as an athlete is, I couldn't ask for a better company. Um, and the products are incredible as well. So, you know, I, I'm just really happy and proud to be with, with a great company like that. Well, you're a good guy, John. I mean, how, why, why would they treat you badly? <laughs> Everyone loves this guy. Thank huh? you, thank you so you, much. You, you must be proud of him. I mean, because you know what? I never heard anyone say anything bad. And you know how this industry is. People always, you know, have something to say. Yeah. And it's not always positive. But John is one of those people where it's always positive thing that comes back all the time. Because he is so nice. And Swan, too. It's like, you must be really proud of him. You I'm raised very, him well. I'm very proud of him. Uh, you know, when he decided to take this on as a career, you know, one of the most important things that we discussed was, you know, if this ever affects your health in any negative way, you have to be, you know, uh, conscious that you have to back away. You know, you have to, there comes a point where, you, you know, you can't sacrifice your health for your family. You know, you're leaving too many things behind if you do. You know, and that should be the most important thing. And, and that, for him, has been very important in his life. So, so far so good. He's healthy, strong as a bull. Yeah, he is. He's, uh, you know, he goes, gets his checkups twice annually. That's important. Know, and, and I do the same thing too for myself. Yeah. I'm not a, as competitive as he is. I'm not at his level, never was. But I still like to keep on top of my own health. We're responsible for that. Right. You know, nobody gives us that. We're responsible to go and get checked, make sure everything is fine. Right. And uh, most of us don't do that, you know, which, know. Is, which is sad. Yeah, that's a good just point. A, just a quick message, you know, kind of going on what you said about, you know, nothing ever being said negatively about me. I appreciate that. But I think there's, um, I think there's something to be said about people who live their life uh, trying to be positive and, and doing right by others. Um, Maybe you believe in karma, maybe you don't. But I believe that if you live your life as good as you possibly can, those things will come back to you. So, you know, there's a lot of drama in this industry. There's a lot of, you know, stuff being thrown around. And I just try and remove myself. I keep my, my priorities. I try to keep my priorities in order. My family's always first. Um, you know, bodybuilding is a huge part of my life. But, you know, when, when I'm done bodybuilding, my wife and my family are the most important things in my life. And, you kind of have to keep those things in perspective. I think if you can do that, you know, you're going to have a, a good career, you're going to have a good life, and all the good things will come back to you. Well, you're right. I think, I think you know, when you surround yourself with positive energy and positive people right. and uplifting people, right. and they have they have tendency to gravitate towards each other, yeah. those people. You know, it's like you rarely see someone that's Tell like him <laughs> around people that, that are jerks. It just doesn't happen, you know. So sure. um, I'm so glad we get to come and shoot in your home gym today. Yeah. I've been wanting to shoot forever, John. Uh, you yeah, know, one of my yeah. athletes on my bucket list. Yeah. I can die happy now. <laughs> I hope I'm not, but no, no, no. five weeks out from New York. Yes. Best of luck. Thank you best so of luck to you, Dad, oh, in the thank universe. You, thank you. And Hopefully, I hope we do this again. Oh, yes. for right. sure. Hopefully, one of many. Yeah. All right. Thank, thank you, guys. You guys. Thank